Hello guys, I figured I might as well, since break is almost over and we're all depressed, I might as well make a video. So, this one is actually a tutorial video on how to add a muzzle flash effect to one of your action movie videos, or any, you know, any video where you're like, trying to like, fake a gunshot or something like that, so... I don't know what I'm doing. I, I don't know what I'm saying, actually. But, oh, God, I just better stop talking. So, um, there are a couple things you're going to need to use to make this muscle flash. You're going to need your footage. And, by the way, I used a Nerf gun just for the safety. Uh, movie Maker. Uh, Paint.net. An image of a muscle flash. And my gun sounds package. So, um, once you ha make sure once you have all of that stuff, open up Movie Maker. Go ahead and add your um, your um, footage. Um, all right, so you can use these bu shutter buttons to go to the point where you shoot. So you're going to go to the point of where of where you start to move. You're going to press edit and you're going to press split. You're going to go forward another one and you're going to go press split. So now we have a little screen cat shot here to play around with and we're going to press snapshot I'll just save that to my pictures. Save it. Now, now you're. This is where Paint.net comes in. You're gonna open that. Let's open that up. Uh, where is it? Here it is. And you're going to actually do nothing for this. You're going to. Now I already have a bunch of muzzle flashes ready that I got off the internet. Uh, just use a random one. You're going to drag that on and press add layer. I may actually just make a muzzle flash package and remember you can also make your own muzzle flash by painting yellow a yellow muzzle flash shaped outline and putting white in the middle, and then using the Go Gaussian, Gaussian Blur tool, however you would c call that, you would go into, um, just to tell you, you'd go into, um, you'd go into effects and blurs and Gaussian Blur, Ga Ga Gaussian Blur, I don't know how to say, it, and you would blur away. So, make, so you're going to get the magic wand tool, and select the part outside of your muzzle flash, press edit, press race selection and go back to the select pixel and move tool now select this to this put this to the size you want that seems about right and sent and um if you have a windows computer um you you are not going to want it depends on the size of your image, but you are not going to want that white outline. You are going to get the snipping tool. Hold on. We'll just go into something else. Hold on. Ugh. Edit. Undo. Edit. Oh, God, no, what? Alright, put it there. 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 Now, you're going to make a snippet, but... Windows doesn't seem to be working with me, so I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Windows did decide to work with us. So, now that you've done that, you are going to find your image, and you're going to insert it between this thing right here, where you took your snapshot and you're going to completely take that out so now you have this to work with you're going to click on that and make it point 
0 0.10. Now let's take a look. Oh, you, I forgot you have to change the stuff after that to also to a z zero point. Oh. Can you stop, please? Please. Okay. I forgot you also have to change that to a zero point ten. Now, it's not exactly the best. I know. I honestly know that you don't. You know, have to. Well, let's see how that looks. Oh god, that's gonna be really bad. That's gonna be really bad. Actually, yeah, that'll be good. Oh no, that's not good. Okay. So. Okay, enough playing around with this. So, you'll be left with this. Now. It'll be much better when you add sound effects, and let me tell you, Windows Movie Maker has its limitations. So don't say, hey, this doesn't look professional, this doesn't look... I honestly don't want to hear it, okay? Okay, so now, with that gun package you just downloaded, and, okay, just saying, um, when you see this, do not mind. When you press download, it'll say .ink, but when you open it, I assure you, it says gunsounds.rar, and you have all the Modern Warfare 3 sounds, so fear not. Um, link for this will be in the description, by the way. And so, now you're going to find the point where your muzzle comes in, and you're going to press add music, add music from current point, even though it is not music, and I'm going to show you where mine is. I have in a sound effects folder. This is all that comes with it. Um, you got primary, secondary. I'm using a shotgun, so I'm going to go into the shotguns. Uh, let's try a striker. Now hold on. I didn't. I wanted to hear it. All right. So let's go find one that seems fitting for a shotgun. Okay, sounds good enough, okay? Whatever. Now, add music, add music from current point, striker, and you can adjust this. I want mine to be right. No, no, hold on. Oh my god, Windows, stop it. I'm so sorry if this tutorial is not going well. Well, that's done. I'm so sorry, really. Now, I'm going to insert this correctly. I'm really sorry for this, like I said, but I'm going to just take the sound and put it in. Alright, so I tried a Spaz 12 sound effect, and it worked just fine. Let's see how our movie came out. Yep, that's pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, now, I put the flare a little bit on top of the Nerf gun like over here, but you should put it, if you want it, if you want to make it more realistic, you can put it in front, but then again, there will be the holes where the bullets are supposed to be. This is really good if you're a beginner and you want to, like, impress your friends or something and show them your action movie. So let's watch that one more time. If you ask me, that's a really good way to start off and make your movies. So I hope you enjoyed. Links to uh, links to the mus links to the paint.net, the gun sounds and not bandy cam. The links to paint.net, the gun sound will be in the description of uh, Mac users. I don't know what to tell you. Peace and see ya.